greetings of the day. Myself, Mr. Prasad Zadav, B.E. in Civil Engineering, M.Tech in Structural Engineering. Presently working as an Assistant Professor in Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering at KIT's College of Engineering, Autonomous Kolhapur. So, dear students, as you all know, India being a developed nation in coming future and speaking about the particular infrastructure development of India, as the population is increasing day by day, to cope up with the population, the infrastructure development should also cope up to the population. And being involving with the new innovations, being involving with the new technologies, which should be adopted as in a civil engineer, it is our prior most duty to study with the advanced construction techniques, with the advanced construction technologies, which will be adopted to India being a developed nation and also to practice the various construction technologies, the advancement in the constructions, the advancement, the equipments and so on. So, today we will be focusing on the most important subject which is named as advanced construction technologies. So, dear students, the broad objectives of this course will be, this course will help the students to understand the new technologies involved in construction sector as I previously said. This course will cover various technologies involved in the construction, various structures, their standard procedures, suitability, significance, advantages as well as disadvantages. It will also focus to understand various technologies in the construction sector, to understand different types of temporary structures, to understand advanced concrete processes, also to understand different various methods of excavation. So, dear students, the first unit which will be focusing in advanced construction technology will be under water construction. So, in that we will be studying what are the various techniques which are being used in underwater construction, where the particular underwater construction techniques are being used in case of uh, we can speak in case of the bridges, in case of the dams etcetera. So, the major objective of the particular under need of underwater construction is that explain techniques involved in underwater construction, understand importance and necessity of underwater construction. As you all know, there is a vast development in case of roads, there is a vast development in case of the bridges, there is a vast development in case of the dams and to construct this particular structures inside the water or construction of the particular foundations inside the water is to be need in future. So, we will be ma majorly focusing on the need of underwater construction. So, basically the outline of lesson number 1 or chapter number 1 will be coffer dams. We will be focusing on the part of coffer dams which will include introduction, definition, types of coffer dams, selection of coffer dam, design features of coffer dam, leakage prevention and economical height of the coffer dam. With the moving ahead, we will be focusing on the control of groundwater in excavations, introduction, methods, pumping well, points, bore wells, electrosmosis, chemical freezing processes and vibroflocations. So, moving ahead with introduction, during the construction of bridges, dams or any other structures where the foundation part of the structure is most likely to lie under water, we have to go for underwater construction. As the particular subject or as the particular topic which is there as an elective in many of the institutes, many of the universities. Which, will be, which has been kept in the last semester or last year's last semester of their course or their journey of the B civil. As you all know, foundation of any building plays in a major vital role to sustain that particular building. And ultimately, while construction of bridges, while construction of dams, while construction of tunnels, while construction of any of the underground structure, the foundation is going to play a major role. And hence, the construction of bridge piers, the construction of dams inside the water 
or the foundation of such as bridges of piers or dams inside the water plays an a major vital role to keep that particular structure in its sustainable position. Construction of water possesses many difficulties especially in the place where there is depth is considerable ok as you all know when we are going to construct the particular a uh, bridge or when we are going to construct a particular road in case of an a uh, water body ultimately we do not know the depth of water and it is the duty of the civil engineer to construct a foundation in such a case that it should withstand the load of the particular moving cars of the self weight of the bridge etc safely to the underground which is which which will make the particular structure in its sustainable position during underwater construction our main objective is to create dry water free environment for working in such manner that the structural stability of the structure is not compromised as i have already said to you all see when we are going to construct any type of an a structure or when we are going to construct any type of an a foundation in case of an in a particular water body the particular surrounding area of the particular water body should be dry should be free from water to construct that particular foundation which will maintain the structural stability as which is not being compromised so today we will be focusing on such type of an a construction activity or such type of an a construction practice which is being practiced today also that is nothing but the coffer dams so moving ahead with the coffer dams i'll firstly tell you all what is mean by coffer dam coffer dams are temporary watertight enclosed pumped dry below the water line to execute the building operations to be performed on a dry surface a coffer dam is in a temporary enclosure built within a, a or across a body of water to allow the construction work to take place below the water line the purpose of coffer dam is to create as i the main purpose of coffer dam is to create a dry environment facilitating the construction repair or inspection of the structure such as bridge dams piers and other water underwater facilities as as i have already told to you all okay while constructing a particular bridge or while constructing a particular bridge pier inside a water as water is going to be present from all the four sides to make the particular area free from water and then the construction will start the main purpose or the main practice which we are practicing that is nothing but the coffer dams requirements of coffer dam the coffer dam should be reasonably watertight as you all know if water is going to enter into the coffer dam there will be no free water surface or uh, free water environment and we can't work on the particular uh, what we can say foundation it should be generally constructed on site work the design and layout of the coffer dam should such that the total cost of construction maintenance and pumping is minimum it should not happen that the cost of the coffer dam is more and the cost of the construction of that particular uh, bridge pier or the bridge foundation is less so it should be at the minimum cost it should be stable against bursting overturning and sliding under the floods and waves so as you all know starting the construction in a watertight body which will not complete in within a 6 months or within a 2 months it will take n number of months it will take n number of times it will take n number of days to complete the construction work in the same case then if we have started in in case of summer seasons and if there is coming coming with the rainy season ultimately the floods should not affect our coffer dam or the waves in the water body should not also affect the coffer dam because if the waves are going to hit the particular coffer dam ultimately the water is going to enter into the coffer dam and ultimately the foundation at which the worker are working ultimately will be get affected so the main uses of the coffer dam will be focusing on the uses of the coffer dam to facilitate pile driving operations to place grillage and rough foundations so these are the types of foundations you all must be knowing to construct foundation pier and abutments of bridge dams docks etc to provide working platform for the foundations of buildings when water is meet with it should be generally constructed at the site work so these are the various uses of the coffer dam moving ahead there are various types of coffer dams and they can be categorized on their construction methods materials some of the common types of coffer dams are i have explained over here 
the first coffer dam is an earthen coffer dam next rock fill coffer dam sheet pile coffer dam is again broadly classified into two types number one is an a single wall sheet pile coffer dam number second is double wall sheet pile coffer dam cellular coffer dam and braced coffer dam moving ahead today we will be focusing on the earthen coffer dams it is the simplest type of coffer dam it is used when water depth is at shallow depth of 1 to 1 meter to 1.5 meter the velocity of the water flow is very slow in this case only we are going to use the earthen coffer dam so in this type of coffer dam an earth embankment is built around the area to be supported the top width of the embankment should not be less than 1 meter the water side slope is 3s to 2s to 1 and the inner slide slope is kept as 2s to 1 the embankment of the earthen coffer dam from the mixture of clay sand and clay gravel is been made okay so to make a free environment a environment free from water we have to make or we have to build a earthen coffer dam the earthen coffer dam the materials or the what we can say the mixture of clay sand and gravel is basically used to construct an earthen coffer dam pitching as you all know what is a pitching when we do oh, it is a part of stones which are been kept in uh, a proper uh, arrangement to prevent the what we can say uh, entry of the water which has been also kept in various uh, uh, earthen dams ok pitching is done by arranging the boulders boulders are nothing but the large stones on the slope of the water side to prevent water damage to the embankment often the middle of the embankment steel sheet piles are inserted to improve to for the impervious layer of the soil below the embankment to prevent water from entering through the permeable layer of soil the height of the embankment is kept at 0.6 meter above the water level for safety in the workplace a drain is kept nearby the embankment from which the water is pumped out as you all know when we are going to work in the particular zone of the particular coffer dam or inside the particular coffer dam which is water tight a uh, water tight uh, what we can say structure the water which is going to enter in the particular coffer dam should be pumped out so that the workers can easily work for the foundation purpose so as you can see in this particular image i have shown the image of the particular earthen coffer dam where you can see the particular earth fill which is of stone gravels soil etc which the on the particular uh, this side you can see on the particular as you can see on this slide ok so this is the part of the particular coffer dam as you can see there is a water type structure which is been made this is a water type structure where the water is being uh, what we can say retained on this side and the construction is going to go work on this particular side ok so moving ahead so this was the earthen coffer dam moving ahead with the rock fill coffer dam this type of an coffer dam is useful when water depth is up to 3 meter in the water flow and the water flow is turbulent as you all know there are various types of water flows in turbulent transition laminar etc ok in this type of coffer dam stones are used inside of in, instead of clay in the bed such coffer dams are cheaper where stones are easily available and easily found ok as you all know in earthen coffer dam we have used clay we have used boulders but in case of rock fill coffer dam we are interested we are we are using the particular stones to retain the water as you all know when the construction site is going on as we are going to dig the particular uh, earth material at the same time we are going to get the rocks we are going to get the stones and using that particular stones and using that particular rocks we are going to construct a watertight body and that watertight body is nothing but the rock fill coffer dam. The disadvantages of rock fill coffer dam is that it is not impervious as you all know there will be the voids of the particular stone will be more as stones are being used the gap between two stones will be more and hence the void ratio will be more and the water which will be coming in the particular coffer dam or inside the particular construction work will be more. So, the major disadvantage of the rock fill coffer dam it is not impervious ok where the water depth is low as impermeable layer of the soil is spread over a water side or of the embankment rock fill coffer dam clay particles fill cavities between the stones and gradually watertight structures 
the slope of its side can be kept as wide 1 as to 1 often the core wall or sheet pile instead between inserted between the coffer dam and the bottom of the coffer dam to impervious level of the soil to prevent water from entering in the embankment core walls are made for clay soil and cement concrete so, as you can see in the particular image, we can see the particular rock fill coffer dam. So, as you can see in this particular image, this is an A, as you can see in the particular image. So, this part, so this part of the particular uh, what we can say earth material which is filled by uh, rocks and as you can see in this particular image which is an A actual image of the rock fill coffer dam where the water is being stored at the back side of the particular what we can say watertight body and we are going to we are interested in construction of the particular structure over the other side of the particular rock fill coffer dam. So, next type of coffer dam comes into the picture that is the thing but the sheet pile coffer dam ok. Sheet pile coffer dam is a specific form of temporary work solution as sheet as such as the cornerstone to a range of service offered by sheet piling the slope of its side is kept as 1 as to 1 the main purpose of coffer dam is to exclude soil and water from safely supported excavations where construction works and progresses coffer dam formed using steel sheet piles acting there acting either in cantilever or being supported by internal steel works bracing frameworks external anchorage. The exact design solution will be dependent upon the number of factories including depth, excavation, external design force, construction methodologies and installation methodologies. Sheet pile coffer dam are extremely sustainable and environmental beneficial forms of temporary work structures as upon completion of permanent structure. The temporary coffer dam can be full extracted and reused to another temporary work project. So, as you can see on the picture, there are two types of sheet pile coffer dams. Number one is in a single wall coffer dam as you can see in the particular image and number second is in a, uh, so number what we can say as you can see in this particular image. So, as you can see in this particular image, there are two types of coffer dams. So, this coffer dam is nothing but the single wall coffer dam. The walls, there, are, there is only a single wall which is been present to avoid the particular water to be entering into the plant, uh, entering into the water body. As you can see, this is the water level and uh, we have constructed the walls. We have constructed a single wall to which the water is be, uh, water should be uh, stopped and this is the section and the plan as, as shown in the particular figure. So, there are two types of uh, coffer dams, sheet pile coffer dams. Number one is an a single wall coffer dam and number second is an a double wall coffer dam as you can see in this particular next image that there is an a double wall coffer dam. So, I have uh, given an a what you can say practical example of a double wall sheet pile coffer dam. So, you can see this two there are two sheet piles or sheet uh, walls double wall which are been there. Uh, for the construction of to retain the water in a particular river as you can see this is in the bridge and the water tide is water is over here and water is over here. So, we are interested in construction over here. So, to protect or to, to prevent the water to entry from this side to this side we have constructed in a uh, coffer dam which is called as in a sheet pile coffer dam. So, next type of coffer dam is a nothing but the cellular coffer dam. A cellular coffer dam is constructed by driving sheet piles or special shapes of forms of series of cells. The cells are interconnected to form watertight walls. These are filled with the soil to provide stability against the lateral forces. So, in case of cellular uh, coffer dams, these are the various shapes of coffer dams in which the particular coffer dam is filled with soil to avoid or to stop the uh, what we can say to fill the soil to provide the stability of the lateral forces of the water which is going to come on the particular coffer dam. There are two types of cellular coffer dams namely as diaphragm type cellular coffer dam and circular type cellular coffer dam. As I have said diaphragm type cellular coffer dam and circular type cellular coffer dam. So, diaphragm type cellular coffer dam. 
The connection between the curved parts of the diaphragm are made by means of an especially fabricated Y element. The coffer dam is made from interconnected of the sheet piles. The cells are filled with the cross coarse grain soils which increase the weight of the coffer dam and the stability. The leakage of the coffer dam is also reduced. To avoid rupture of the diaphragm due to unequal pressure on two sides, it is essential to fill the cells at approximately same rate. The advantage of diaphragm type is that effective width of the coffer dam may be increased easily by lightening up the diaphragm. As you can see, these are the cellular type of a coffer dam. So, these are the cell filled with the sand as you can see in this particular image. These are the cell and is a, as you can see this is in the plant, this is in a section. So, as you can see in the section, the particular cell is filled by sand which will not um, uh, what we can say which will maintain the sustainability of the coffer dam and which will allow the worker to work here or inside the particular uh, coffer dam or ground. Next, circular type cellular coffer dam. It consists of a set of large diameter circular cells interconnected by arcs of smaller diameter as shown in the figure. I have shown the figure uh, ahead in the next slide. The walls of the connecting cells are perpendicular to the main cellular cell to large diameter. The segmental arcs are joined by special T piles to maintain the cell. The cellular type of the circular type of cellular coffer dam is self sustaining independent of adjacent circular cells. Each cell can be filled independently. The circular cells is limited to interlock tension and their ability to resist large lateral pressure due to high head is restricted. Okay. The stability of such cells is much larger as compared to the as compared with the diaphragm type of cellular coffer dam. The circular type is more expensive as compared to diaphragm type because they require more sheet piles and skilled technologies as well as skilled labor is required to sitting drive the particular pile as the diameter of the circular cell is limited by interlocking tension their ability to resist large lateral pressure due to high head is restricted. You can see in this particular image, this is in a circular type cellular coffer dam. As you can see, this is in a circle in cross section. So, it is which is filled with the sand and the air is a watertight body. So, to make to, to make the worker to work over here, we have constructed in a cellular type filled coffer dam. Okay.